hospitality influencer show by raj hospitality our guest of the day is a leader who had put lots of hard work and could achieve what he has dreamt for and still working hard to achieve and to make it a little bit more big and bigger mr sarvendra sarkar md and founder of signet hotels welcome to the show sir thank you very much mr raj and uh, mr nayar uh, this is this thank you for having me for this uh, this session and uh, you know and during this pandemic time and this is the one of the uh, best uh, great initiative i must say you have taken and for the talking to the hospitality uh, in, uh, in the industry veteran and all, all the people i i look keep on looking your you know your youtube uh, all all the posting thank you very much thank you very much uh, for for all the viewers uh, a small brief about uh, Sri Sarvendra Sarkar ji, a HM graduate, MBA executive education and professional development program from Cornell University. He has 24 years of diversified hospitality management expertise, being associated with leading hotels group like IHG, ITC Hotels, Starwood Hotels, Merit and Lower Hotels Group. Sarvendra Sarkar ji is an MD and a founder of Signet Hotels and Resort, with an aim to provide a signature. Services experience to all its guests. The Signet Hotels and Resorts was established in 2012, and after two years of R&D, in April 2014, he, he started operating in India. I take a lot of pleasure inviting him back to the show, and I'm sure that uh, we're going to have a, a wonderful conversation. Uh, uh, Mr. Savendra Saka, take us through the inspirational stories of Signet Hotels. How did it shape up, and where do you see it today? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, see, every uh, great venture, you know, start with a dream, you know, and when dream turn into the reality, when you work with a passion, patient, and lot of hard work required to be a you know successful uh, story if you if you build, and it was from the beginning I had a uh, you know dream to create a hospitality company. uh which should be dynamic and responsive owner friendly during my working time you know i worked uh, you know uh, most of the international brand you know starwood marriott ig and last my assignment as regional director south east asia one of the paris brand in, in paris based international hotel company so i saw a lot of pain point for the investor and i thought i want to build up a you know very different and owner friendly uh, hotel management company so that you know makes me to to this uh, today where i am and uh, this company has incorporated 2012 uh, uh, you know after two years of uh, a lot of research a lot of you know r and d we have done and then formally we open and launched 2014 april in india and nepal and with the one hotel uh, in 2014 now today we have a 35 hotel and 20 hotel are operational, 15 are various project and pre-opening stages. That the uh, Signa story. Superb. I think it's a dynamic story because uh, the 2012 to uh, or 2014 to 2020 was a span of six years. I think it's an yeah. incredible journey. Yes. What were your effort in staff retention and keeping them motivated during this crisis? Yes. See, this, during this strenuous, uh, you know, uh, in the pandemic, you know, there is a lot of stress, you know, loss of moral down of the staff, and lot of worried, you know, for their job security, their salaries, and uh, this is obvious. It is not only the signal; it is across the world, you know, not only the Indian operator or regional operator, all the across the international operator also, you know, there is a lot of layoff happen. but uh, from the beginning we uh, you know we uh, have taken a strategy that uh, we will be communicate you know all our uh, the team member from the corporate hr manager unit hr manager general manager you know constant the communication with the team that we have announced that we will not have any layoff you know human resource there might be a salary cut you know so that is what we have done it and we are constant touch with their how their family how their well being and that really works the people we we got back everybody after you know our hotel open everybody are joined very negligible people are you know attrition rate even more than 2% you know and 
that is our success story and during the pandemic time also we have a couple of hotel we did well because we have a hotel in northeast which is there you know uh, uh, some of the hotel was the captive business and we are doing extremely good so that hotel was you know we have given all the uh, uh, team member for a accommodation and they don't want to go out they should not travel so we taking their uh, they are taking care and they are taking care of uh, us you know uh, they can take uh, taking care of our guest i think it is uh, it really it's important because what you uh, give uh, to the staff when they are in trouble and and i'm sure they give you back much much more than what you expect absolutely this comes absolutely absolutely uh, uh, like uh, what are your expectations you know being because you are yourself a managing director of the company you have grown so big i'm sure uh, you will have another 60 to 70 hotels in the coming 6 7 years uh, so you'll have uh, the the group general managers vice president directors ceos so what kind of expectation you have from the hospitality leaders how do you how they can maybe transform themselves from a managed to, manager to a leader very 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 good question uh, you know see everybody define leaders very differently but i like the john maxwell uh, you know the, the his definition the a leader who is one knows the way go and you know, goes the way and shows the way you know leader must you know the people should follow he should have inspiring you know capability to influence the people and he shows the way there should be you know should show the ladder which is the leading to the right wall and the people people trust on him you know lead a good leader should have a futuristic vision and uh, he should turn into all his idea to a real success story you know if you don't know how to execute and make the success or all idea then he is not a leader and you know according to me and transformation is is one of the key factor which i believe that that's why we have developed a leadership development program in my company and very well designed you know we have a lot of research a lot of expert and we have hired for consultant to design this course and everybody has to go through this course if somebody at the hotel manager he want to be general manager he has to go through it and this is the mandatory program for us uh, but you have any uh, particular expectation when it comes to your own company yes uh, see i want all my all my leader the one expectation you know he should commit you know he should be committed uh, uh, you know one thing that is you know uh, i always uh, give more than what i get from my organization my customer my team member and my society absolutely if you have this commitment you know uh, you know towards either your company or your you know your society so he will be a good leader and and that is my transformational mantra absolutely right i think i really appreciate that what will be your next five years of mind mapping what you have in your mind this is what i would like to grow maybe you know i'm sure you already have done that so Uh, i believe in mind mapping so wh- wh- where where you would like to take signet hotels next 5 years yeah signet is constantly you know endeavors for a success and commitment towards excellence and uh, you know is continuously recognized in india and international market okay. so we are uh, the, the group is actively uh, you know working for for a 100 hotel in in 75 cities in india and and six other international location which are we, we are we are actively looking for and not only that we are looking for a 6000 keys to be added within you know 2025 and that is our target and uh, we want to uh, build up our signature experience and and signature uh, 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 signature service for for the group you know the tagline you know signature stand for uh, versatile offering great price and signature experience that signature is spelling c y g n u t t r very very specialized design you know service design for signature and that's where we are looking for and signet bringing to india to the world and and, and the our heritage where you know you know we we old believe and and our old culture that call vasudeva kutumbakam right. which means the world is one family absolutely you know so 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 we are looking for a global expansion we have a you know various in the indian cuisine there is a very very uh, very very different than the rest of the world so we want to show the the taste of india to the to the rest of world wherever we want to open our international hotel there will be the indian 
uh, specialized cuisine restaurant, you know? Super. So super. That, 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 that is the one of my, my, my dream and aim. And we are actively working on it. Very good. And I wish all the success for it. I'm sure because it's a great idea and it will definitely, yeah. you know, come in. Yeah. With increasing number of hotels under your brand, what are your human resources plans towards employees working towards a single goal? What role does your corporate HR play in taking care of the motivation and innovation of the company's growth and maintaining it? Yeah, the, the, yeah, absolutely. That you know, the human resource is the key asset. We are in the people business. You know, that is our main asset. Rather than the you know any building or anything else, uh, the hospital business all about the people. So our uh, corporate, uh, the HR uh, department and our corporate learning and culture department in constantly uh, working in this, uh, uh, you know, the research and development in or doing on the human, you know, uh, human asset. And first in the increasing of the, our property and asset upcoming, we first, he does the, you know, right kind of forecasting the people uh, require and from where he is sourcing out from the various channels. But we don't hire not only for his educational background or experience. We look for a, his, he should be culture fit in our company. You know, the culture is the one of the key aspects. We give a lot of importance. So <clears throat> that one aspect we do, and he should be trained and you know, he should be fit into our culture. He should give the deliver our signature experience to our client. That is one of the motto. And during this, you know, after uh, the pandemic time and after the pandemic, whole world has changed slowly and changing a lot of things. And this requires a lot of new skill. So our, uh, the learning development team and the corporate agent team are uh, giving a lot of new training, how to cope up with this, this kind of pressure. You know, there is a, always in the top line and bottom line, there is a, you know, both where there is a yeah, huge, huge pressure going on at this moment, how to handle this pressure, how do multitasking people should be, how the hygiene standard need to be, how they, their skill to be developed. And we are showing, you know, a lot of, you know, futuristic, uh, 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 you know, uh, how we, they, they, they are build their career. Not only we are uh, uh, giving important about organization growth, also the personal growth or employee his own career growth is the most important for us also. This is, uh, it, it, it is the key, uh, you know, agenda for our, our company that we should uh, take care of the human resource and, and we develop a team because upcoming world is going to be a change. Now the, uh, and if you look into the international market, there's very lean, uh, the staffing, uh, and the kind of this, the manpower, uh, the number of manpower work in, the, in our Indian and the, the ratio number of hotel and, uh, and, and Europe or on the American hotel. And now they due to the technology. Now today, if you have a required plumber, you know, your app, you can call anybody and you will come in a one hour contract job. You know, internationally, a lot of contract housekeeping contract job has happened. So the people has to here learn the multitasking job. Then only the hotel job is, is going to be, you know, the, the, a very, very lean, the, uh, the opportunity. So people, those who are existing people has to learn their, uh, their new, new tricks, new skills and, and to develop their uh, the future career. So that is one of the aspects we are looking into and, and we are developing our, our staff. Absolutely. I do agree with you. And the thoughts also is definitely match with what I normally think about it. And thank you very much for that. Do you have a plan to have your own hospitality academy also as it will be easy for you to train your mold, your products? For your for the future, is is always easy. Yes, yeah. If you you ask me, we have a thin um, future eye on that. We have a plan, but may not be the physical. When we will do the in first virtual university kind of thing and academic, and there will be the training. Uh, you know, specialized uh, the people to 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 design the course. And we are also working the at this existing you know e learning a lot of course we are designing you know, for the existing staff and whoever will come on the board. So we are doing it and yes, if we ask in the academy, we have a plan. You have a plan, oh, very good. Uh, out of the box a question, because you said 35 hotels. So it mm -hmm. means almost 35 owners. 35 yeah. owners, 35 mind, 35 characters. Yeah. So how do you handle that, you know? 
see uh, uh, not only india we are now start dealing with the internationally also you know we supposed to launch in bangladesh and nepal, nepal we have already uh, existing 100 room with casino hotel uh, we are dealing multiple see the, see there is a, a nothing rocket science but still the, the all owner got a different aspiration certain thing is common which is the revenue and profitability you know we have to satisfy on that you know we are the one company uh, uh, before pandemic we used to give the you know uh, certain profitability guarantee that this you know this kind of gross open profit we, you know you have to do it that's why all our general manager is is always tremendous under pressure and we train them uh, to to how to achieve that you know that's why we have developed this special design course Otherwise, it will only be possible if you less than 30 percent gross operating profit. Then you know your hotel uh, and uh, today uh, is, is a very difficult to the kind of investment you are doing to get return on ROI. Yeah. yeah. So we uh, we have put a lot of uh, right mechanism to to communicate with the you know agencies there on the on the people in the given has to resolve and there is a um, um uh, weekly and monthly call there is a quarterly meeting happen so this all all, all the part of the uh, you know fabulous, fabulous. management oh, how big is your sales team see uh, uh, we have uh, all the places got a uh, 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 regional office we have around uh, uh, 26 people at this moment super super my last question to you of the day your inspirational quote and advice to the young budding leaders, like maybe next 20 years, 25 years, people want to be like you. So what are the advices you would like to give to them to the present generation? Okay. I can say, but the one thing, you know, dare to dream and over dream to do, you know, dream big, aim big and have a passion, patient and you know, honesty and hard work in your kitty to make turn into a, a reality, your dream. So that's, that's my, uh, you know, I believe and I, I also advise always to my uh, followers. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Sarvendra Sarkar. It was superb talking to you. You're such a simple and, you know, uh, straightforward person because I felt so close to you because I've, I've never met you, but then I felt because a lot of, you know, long relationship with you. We look forward to meet you, you know. Uh, you are in Bangalore? I am in the Bangalore. I am in Bangalore. Okay. So, well, you know, I'm planning to visit you know, next time when I'll be come up to maybe the March, April. So we certainly can, you know, meet and have a coffee or lunch together. Sure, you know? sure, sure, sure. I have a couple of more projects, you know, and the pipeline in Bangalore. So certainly I'll be visiting you. Anytime. And just, just give me a tinkle a week before, so I will definitely make sure that we meet the week. Pleasure. It will be a love to meet you. Wish you a very happy new year and a lot of success for the new projects coming in. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.